the agenda is the Tom's Pond fertilization. Um, Mr. Herb Wyatt has uh, maintained Tom's Pond for the city in the past. Um, uh, recently, the city has acquired um, a majority of Tom's Pond, um, the land around, uh, which is really nice that the city has a pond that they can actually call their, their own. Um, and allow the citizens to enjoy that pond. But that pond is, uh, is heavily fished, okay? And um, I had a discussion with Mr. Wyatt about how we can maintain the amount of fish, the populations in there, so people can just <coughs> enjoy it. And he told me that um, you don't want to stop fish, what you want to do is you want to fertilize the pond. By fertilizing the pond, you're, you're um, converting all the, the grass and the weeds that are in there into free nitrogen and fertilizers that the fish can eat, and the plankton or whatever. And that uh, there are bass in that uh, pond and uh, bass, catfish, brim, brim, and uh, a bluegill. Okay, so that pond is approximately five acres, and it would cost about seventy dollars an acre to fertilize it, and it would probably take two to three years. Uh, to do it three years in a row, two, three years. And uh, while it does turn the water green because it's breaking down the weeds, um, it does do wonders for the fish population and, and it creates a really healthy environment. Um, it's tried and true, they did it on Ocean Pond before all the water got sucked out in the, in the sinkhole, um, but it works. So um, I'm asking the council um, if they would like to proceed with a uh, year's fertilization. Um, like I said, it's $70, so it's uh, what, $350? Yes? Um, because we don't own all the time, um, would we need to notify the other um, land owners that we were <coughs> going to do it and would we have any liability or anything? I mean, I'm very familiar with what you're talking about because we live long time over there. We, Contracted Mr. White Wonderful man. for like right. the last 30 years, and he does a terrific job. Uh, and because people do fish there, we need to make sure that we maintain it in the proper form that's recommended to us. But I just want to make sure that because we there are some areas that we don't own around the lake, do we do we need to notify? Them I think it'd be just, smart to, to notify them that that we're, what we're doing and that we're fertilizing it, and uh, that there will probably be some color change and not to be alarmed. And uh, when we uh, get this going with Mr. Wyatt, um, we'll have uh, the city clerk contact those. How long will the water stay green? I don't know. He says he says it, it's just a process that, that it just goes through. Um, I really don't know. So do we need to post anything saying we're doing it? So when people come up, do they? They don't think there's a problem. I think we can print it out a newsletter yeah. and uh, put it on our website. Um, we can call it the Healthy Pond Initiative. Um, well, I'll make a point <coughs> that we continue to do it as long as we own the pond so we can maintain the integrity of it. Uh, we have a motion to. Yeah. <laughs> Where is that? We have a motion to allow Mr. Herb Wyatt at, uh, up to $70 an acre. Um, to fertilize the pond to help with the fish. We have a second. Uh, any discussion? Now, is that something he does once a year or does he do it every quarter? I think it's once a year and there's a certain time okay. of year when he does it. Okay, that's good. Um, cool. yeah. So, uh, yeah. No, just when the hour is moving. And, it, and it's, really, it's really kind of a little bizarre way he, he has to go about doing it. But, uh, now, is he shocking the pond as well? Does he get out on the boat? Yeah, he can go out on the boat. For so he probably is shocking. Yeah. But I mean, is he shocking it? Because I thought we agreed that we were going to have him take care of that pond. And yeah, yeah. And that's, that's and once a quarter, he kind of goes and shocks it to see how the health of the fish are. Yeah, I think I think uh, this is this is part of it. He gets them, he gets shocks the mud fish and the and the guard out of it. Well, that's not the kind of shock I was talking about, but that's okay. Did he spray for the? Um, Oh yeah, he did the uh, the, the, the lily tail. Yes, he did. Ain't that what he did last? That's right. 
just yeah. ready for the balloon. They 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 bloomed they bloomed with that in the heat really bad. And we got to you know we have to keep an eye on that too. Uh, that can really take over the pond really quickly. I would suggest that we have a conversation with Mr. White about the health of that uh, pond over there because now we do have it. And it's a, it was a great purchase and I was just thrilled we were able to close that deal. But we should get him on some kind of retainer stuff every quarter. He's checking and we stay on top of it so we know if a problem starts up, we're, it's not so far ahead of us. And it costs us so much to get it. Get control of it. And normally it's a it's a it's a real reasonable amount of money. I don't want to pay what we already pay somewhere else, but I think it would behoove us to try to look into that and make sure that we keep the pond healthy. Okay, we'll, we'll get this to one of the last call. Yeah. I'll see if we need some time. You want to make a motion for that? I'll take it. I make a motion that what I just said well, about Ron and Mr. White. <laughs> why, don't, why don't we Check focus on this fertilizer first, and then I will call Mr. White and find out if he's even willing to do it. Yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, we have a motion. We have a uh, second on the fertilization. Any more discussion? All in favor? Okay. Um, 